Hey friends, it's Laura and welcome to day five of the gratitude art journal challenge that I have been hosting with Haley this week. Today's prompt is detail and for today I'm going to show you how to make this a gorgeous cascading photo insert in your art journal. I have all of these little tiny photographs here that I wanted to include in my art journal. They were actually a play off of day one's prompt home and I have all these pictures of things and people that make me feel like I'm at home. So I wanted to include all of them on a single page and to do that I am cutting a strip of paper. You can see it's a long, narrow strip. It's only slightly wider than my photographs, and I am scoring every quarter of an inch from the center of that strip of paper. Then I'm going to accordion fold it back and forth, and you want to score it as many times as you have photographs. I think I end up including all eight photographs that I have on my desk right now. And you can see that I scored the paper eight times. I have four accordion folds that face upward and then three crevices that face downward. And now I am going to create a photo mat for each of my photos. And you can make these photo mats as large or as small as you want. I end up cutting a really tiny square of white cardstock for all of my photos. I just wanted a really small border around it. I wanted to keep it really simple because there was already so many different colors going on in all of these photographs and different people, different themes. So I wanted to have the thin white photo mat to kind of make it all cohesive. And now I'm going to lay out all of these little white cards and use some double sided tape to adhere all of my photographs to the cards. And I really love today's prompt. A lot of times when I think about details, I think about textures, tastes, smells, memories, that sort of thing. And for today, I wanted to take it very literally and show you how to create this sort of detail in your art journal. And it is the first time I have ever made this detail for myself. So I'm really excited to see how it turns out and see how I can possibly fit all of these photographs onto one page in my tiny art journal. So I'm going through and figuring out the order in which I want my photographs and I am matting them all onto their white cardstock and these little square white cards are going to be what I adhere to that white insert which is going to be our cascading mechanism. And I've seen this called the waterfall technique a couple of times and waterfall and cascading are kind of like the same thing. But when I was first Googling it to be like, how do you do that? I just thought cascading. I didn't know what it was called. So I'm calling it cascading photo insert because that to me is what I think of. So right here, I've got these cute little photographs of my pets. I've got a picture of my bunny and my two dogs. And now I have some photographs of me and my sisters, me and one of my best friends, me and two of my girlfriends from Charlotte, our house, me and my significant other, all these photographs of people and places that feel like home. And now that I have all of my photographs on their little white cards, I am going to use a double-sided tape on each one of those little accordion folds there from the center of that strip of paper. And I am going to adhere each card to each one of those accordion folds. And you can see they are right back to back here. And now you can see what this photo strip looks like now that I have adhered all of my cards and photographs to it and to all of those accordion folds in the center of it. When laid out horizontally, there is plain white cardstock to the left and the right of my photographs or if laid out vertically to the top and the bottom of my photograph strip. And I'm going to apply double-sided tape to the left of my photos or above my photographs. And then I'm gonna fold them over and adhere this photo strip down to the page with that back side of it. And I, I can't think of a better way to describe it really, but I hope that I have slowed this video down enough and included enough detail in the visual for you to understand and see how I did that exactly. 
And for the flap of extra cardstock that is below my photos or to the right of the photo strip, I am going to cut that off as you see here and make it a little bit shorter. And then I'm going to use some washi tape and apply a little handle to the bottom of that cardstock there. And that is going to make it really obvious to anybody that this is an interactive piece and that is something to be pulled or tugged on here. So you can see what that looks like once I fold the washi tape over and I really love it. I love that washi tape too. It's got those cute little fall leaves on it. And now I'm going to go through and decorate the backside of each of my cards here and do some journaling. I want to talk about how each of these photographs makes me feel like home. So the people that make me feel like home and why they make me feel like home, like these two girlfriends of mine and Charlotte, two of my very best friends in Charlotte. They were my first friends in Charlotte that made me feel like Charlotte was actually my home. And then our house in Charlotte, my significant other who I have the house with, our pets, my sisters who are family who I grew up feeling like they were home and I still always feel like they are home. And then one of my best friends of a really long time who I always feel at home with, like they just feel like a safe spot to land. So I do all my journaling there and I love all that sappy journaling stuff and the storytelling behind art journaling and the memory keeping behind it too. You can see in this art journal challenge that I have been hosting for free on Instagram and YouTube that I treat my art journals a lot like a memory keeping device and I like to include a lot of photographs. So to finish off my page, I added a sticker, a doodly border, and some journaling. And now you get to see how this cascading photo mechanism works up close. You will see me pull that little washi tape cord there and push it upward and see how all of the photos cascade out. I hope you have enjoyed learning this new technique and I hope you are feeling inspired to try it or something else new in your art journals. I hope you've been loving all the art journaling stuff that I have been sharing lately and that you take a moment to practice some gratitude in your month of November. If you want a free way to do that, check out the free gratitude art journal challenge that I have been hosting on my channel. Please make sure to like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, let me know what you think, if you've ever seen this technique done before, and make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of the fun memory keeping or crafty things that I share. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I hope you have enjoyed this look at my art journal, and tomorrow I will be coming back for day seven, the last day of the challenge.